Hey guys, Shay2800 here. So, the video I've been working on, the um, summarization of the entire Bionicle storyline, has been taking longer than I thought, probably because of procrastination and, well, just being harder than I thought. Uh, I wanted to try to get something out quicker, something I can do in a few days, so, yeah, I think you guys, I think at least some people want to know how to on the, my recent updated Lucarian, so here you are. So, last time I uh, did a how-to, I did some rambling, some, but people liked it, but they, one of them got, said, like, try to have a script, so I have some notes, uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna stick with it, but, e yeah, so, let's, let's just see how it goes. Alright, so, this is, so first up is the body, of course, we ha this is gonna be split into two parts, we have, we're working on the lower one right now, and we'll be working on the upper one soon enough. Yeah, trying to come up with good to <laughs> trying to come up with good, good to topics even with notes is kind of cold. Oh yeah, as you notice, uh, I did cut down a blue pen. I don't really use illegal p parts that often. Only when I feel like it's kind of necessary if I want to try to get stuff done. I used to feel really uncomfortable about it, but after I saw Wombat Combat Pictures like do illegal parts several times in his videos, I figured, you know, maybe it wanted her to kind of dip my toes into this. I, I mean, I think, uh, well, another time I do it was, um, Ronal, uh, um, the one, the one, the female bartender, uh, to get her, um, boobs in, I had to use one of the cloth pieces to try to keep it in, cause the way, cause otherwise it really wouldn't connect unless you use something like glue or that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, when tr building custom stuff like he, like here is kind of both a blessing and a curse because it does allow for more uniqueness and get some really nice builds, but it takes a lot, so much longer and often takes so many part of use of up a lot of parts. Like, like what's like what's going on right here? This is mostly just like for filling stuff in. So you got to use a lot of parts if you want to like well, to add details and just make sure it doesn't feel skeletal because what well, because that's one of the challenges. But at least. When you work with like, I try to do builds like if you're trying to stick with something like the Nike build. At least for the most part, you kind of have already have a pretty good frame, so you don't really have to add that extra stuff. Of course, if you want to add detail, but just to fill things out, yeah, that becomes a lot more difficult. Um, this is this is um supposed to for connecting the arms together. Honestly, I feel like this is probably the weakest part of the build because. It, the way I have it is mostly just for filling things up and looking cool, but it doesn't stick in as well as it could have been. So, if you guys want to make changes to that, go ahead. Uh, th this, um, what we're building right now, and the arms, that's kind of important for attaching the cape. You'll see what I mean soon enough. And then there's the shoulder blades. Originally it was just on the upper arms, but now they're on the shoulders. Alright, so these are technically two pieces of cloth. This one is for kind of a battle kilt, and then this one is a cape. You'll want to look closely for the specific holes. This is a neck hole, there's one for the piece, and the uh, and those two are for the shoulder blades. And then that one's on the scarf. I like, uh, I, w I wanted to try to do a different texture so it didn't blend in, so for that, for, for the scarf, I just cut up a sock. You can use whatever you want, but if you're gonna go, go like this and you wanna keep the scarf, I recommend trying to find someone with a different texture. A again, blending in. With like the cape and the, um, I, I, I mean, skirts are kind of supposed to look more fluffy anyways, so I think that texture actually worked really well. And yeah, you want to, like, turn that blade to, um, kind of make it seem like, I want to say seamless, but it kind of goes with the flow a bit more. Alright, yeah, so, like, where I'm putting the holes is where you want to stick those blades and just stick it in there. That's another thing to try to hold, hold things down, and also just to... Well, if I just, like, hit the blades underneath it, that wouldn't really work out very well, will it? The whole actually, for this one is only, like, just big enough. Like, you want to have a good balance. You don't want the cloth to accidentally fall through. And, yeah, there is the body. That's probably required the most amount of work. And, like, when you do custom stuff, it takes a lot longer to get stuff done, because you got to figure out a unique way. I actually wanted to use the same feet as earlier, but with how I did the legs, I they wouldn't really work very well. Uh, pro uh, credit to this lower leg design, most of it was originally done by Ben Kasi. He did a whole video uh, about like upper lower leg design, so it, I recommend taking a look at that if you want to take some inspiration. It's some good stuff. 
um, with that, uh, with the one 2015 armor, pe armor design piece, I actually, like, had an initial piece, like, um, a little top piece for filling, but I realized then it would just make it easier to pop off, so, yeah, don't do that, just stick it on like that, and I won't say it will never pop off, but it'll be a lot harder for it to do so. Um, the little jumper things from Asian from below, I forget. Um, this might be the first time I use it on a mock, so, yeah, if possible, I recommend Pablo trying to find, like, special use for some of those pieces you never really use. I mean, no, it, with specific pieces, it becomes a lot harder to use, or at least you have to be more creative, because limitations do involve, do... Like, limitations can, yes, be very limiting, but they can also make you think outside the box. Like, okay, how can we work around this? This is something, like, um, my peers at my universities have always told me. And then we got, then we got the arms. Um, if anything with fingers, I, I, I've been loving adding fingers because it adds so much more personality. Um, with that one tile piece, it can kind of stick into those, uh, pre-2008 hands, but it pops up easily, so I recommend grabbing some super glue. With that, it's just gonna stick on a lot easier. Even though I had like a regular arm piece for the lower arm, if it's gonna like match with how detailed like everything else is, it's important to try to make sure it's consistent. So yeah, even the, even with like sim, even if you want to try to go with a basic a Nike build, there's still ways you can um, try to help it. A bit more unique and stand stand out like you don't entirely have to do completely custom I mean it can be nice but again it also takes a very long time like with my like let's go like um, when I was first starting um, biotube a lot of my uh, a lot of the builds were basically a Nike stuff so I could finish them in what like one or two hours so, and yeah I guess this is size is more of a Titan size set <laughs> the more hardest part the head but, but yeah um now it takes a lot longer to try to make mocks. You gotta put with custom stuff because, like, you gotta consider, oh, okay, uh, what can I do here? Or what can I do here to make sure it all goes well? And then we have the weapons. Um, yeah, the this new iteration of Lucarin's sword is a lot heavier. Um, Maniac Mac, actually, I showed that to Maniac Mac and he had the idea to make a smaller dagger right here. And I'm gonna name and drive a lot of people in this video. Uh, yeah, Wombat, Benkasi, Mac. Yeah. It's just like, well, this is a community, so you tend to learn a lot of stuff. Not to mention, like, you show friends, like, okay, what do you think of this? And they try to perform feedback, and it's important to try to listen to that feedback. Like, probably not, not all of it you're going to be able to, like, get down, because you have certain things for a reason, but I think it's important to at least consider it so you can try to improve. Uh, like with my stop motion. After watching um, um, creepy creepy Bob Tube Stalker, I did try to improve my stop motion at least somewhat. Even though that's, mm, I think most of it can admit it. He's kind of a troll slash joke channel, but you know, even you can learn from people like him. And with that, we are done. Yes, yes. You get him some really nice and sexy poses here. Uh, maybe not that sexy, but. Yeah, anyways, I hope this rally was a bit more coherent than the last time. I really don't know. I did ramble quite a bit, but regardless, this is Shade 2000, and you'll, you'll all be safe, especially in these troubled times. Guys, be it, everyone.